And when we go down the road to May 26th of 2008, you're familiar with an, a uh, instant messaging, right? Messages, yes. Right? Yes. Okay. And part of your review of the instant messages, you also reviewed the text messages. Yes. And in reviewing those things, you, you would agree that there were times when Mr. Alexander was quite upset with Jody, right? Yes. And he showed his anger with Jody in his text messages, didn't he? Yes. And he called her all kinds of names. He called her names, yes. And do you know what character assassination is? Yes. And isn't that when names become actually so severe that it cuts down the person's own character, their own being? I think that would be one definition, yes. Okay. And you'd agree that a lot of these names that he was calling her was actually character assassination, wasn't it? They were harsh names, yes. And you wouldn't consider that to be okay? No, that's not okay. And in fact, that was abusive, wasn't it? Abuse implies that it's a pattern of behavior. I would say that that behavior was certainly inappropriate and not a healthy communication style. Okay, but you don't consider it abusive? I would say, again, the word abuse implies a pattern of behavior. Well, let's not, we can talk about patterns in a second, okay. but the word, I'm talking about the word abuse. So you mean that unless it's repeated, this one particular instant wouldn't be considered abusive to you? If we define abuse as a misuse of something? No, Dr. Just Marte, a misuse, yes. Hold on a second. What I'm asking you is this one particular instant, on May 26, let's say, when Mr. Alexander, as you've agreed, was calling her names consistent yes. with character assassination. You, would, you wouldn't agree that that's abusive? I'm trying to explain to you what I mean. Well, I'm asking, you're telling me that abuse is a pattern. So if it's, if it's just one instant, then is that not abuse? I'd like to clarify, can I speak? It's a yes or no question. I don't believe I can answer in yes or no. All right, so then, so then that's a no. No, I just said I can't answer you in yes or no. All right, so then let's talk about patterns. You want to talk about patterns, and, and when we talk about abuse, you want to look for more than one instance of it, right? For you to characterize it as abuse? I, again, would like to clarify that. Do you want to see a pattern when you're looking at abuse? I'd like to clarify that. Clarify the fact that what whether or not you want to look at a pattern? <clears throat> what I've been trying to clarify. I, I, I'm moving on, so I'm just asking the question, do you want to see a pattern when you're looking for abuse? It depends on how the word abuse is used. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. If it's implied that there's a pattern, no. If you're talking about the word abuse as being a misuse of something in one instance, then you can use the word abuse in a single incident, yes. Okay. Is that, did you clarify enough? I did, thank you. All right, you're welcome. I'd like to clarify. Isn't that what you just said? I'd like to clarify. Did you not say that? I, I'm getting a little confused by the verbiage that you're, the way you're phrasing your questions. Okay. All right, so the fact that she was not elevated in things like aggression and dominance and hostility, that was not important to you. Research doesn't support low elevations. I'm asking you a question, Dr. DeMarte. I just want you to answer the question. Okay, can you ask that again, please? Yes. The fact that she was low in hostility, low in aggression, and low in dominance, that was not important to you. Is that what you're saying? You didn't interpret it, right? I did not interpret it. Okay. Thank you, nothing further.